What about you guys? How's it going? Hope you're all keeping well today. Hope everything is good where you are. Do you want some juice? We got plenty of juice today. Yeah. Sorry, it's still quite early in the morning for me. I'm still waking up. Just while I have you guys here very quickly, go and check out these guys. This is Conjuring Fade. They are a local band from Northern Ireland. If you like your heavy metal, do check them out. I've put the links in the description down below. I'm sure we can all agree right now, it's been a pretty tough time with the situation that's been going on in the world. It, it sure has been pretty hard to work through, but it has been good to see so many people coming together to help fight in this situation. And I'm sure you can all agree, we've all really been facing these lockdown blues. Like can't go out and see a lot of family members and friends, can't go to the pub or anything, you know. Imagine how the Irish are feeling right now with the fact that we can't go to pubs. <laughs> I wanted to spend today's video just to sort of lift up these spirits a little bit more and I want to talk about some feel good moments because no matter how long you've worked as a photographer, whether you've only been doing it for a short period of time or you have been doing it for quite a long period of time, you've probably picked up some feel good moments, you know, whether it's been a certain shot that you have loved that you just, ah, uh, you just gush over or Maybe say for example like you're a landscape photographer and you got to go to a really beautiful landscape at a certain time of the year and something happened and you were able to manage to capture that. That would not ever happen again. You just have a lot of these moments that just really stick out to you and just anytime you do feel down about photography, like I myself, I've been in plenty of ruts about my own photography. There's always been those times that when you sit and think about them, they just lift your spirits up again and it gets you just back into wanting to do the photography still and I mean for me I've been doing music photography for god years now and I've photographed countless amount of concerts I've photographed some absolutely outstanding concerts but I've also had some hard times along the way too and I wanted to share with you my favorite moments uh, when I've been working as a music photographer and funny enough it's actually on YouTube so I'll, I'll put the link in the description as well down below but I'm very thankful that Bestie One or Raymond Best has been able to let me share this video with you today and yeah, let, let's let's talk about it a little bit more. Back in 2012, that's a, it's going back a wee bit there for me, I photographed legendary thrash metal band Anthrax in Belfast's Limelight One. And this was actually, to my recollection, it was the second gig that happened in the newly refurbished Limelight One before it used to be called the Spring and Air Break. Now I know some of you probably still call it the spring and air break, but nowadays it's known as the limelight one. To have these thrash metal titans coming over and just christening the new venue was just absolutely outstanding. And I tell you, the show itself was phenomenal. The, the band were just in top form and it was great to be in the photo pit just to photograph these, this, such an iconic band. And yeah, like I say, I got to shoot them and it was absolutely outstanding, but there was, one moment in particular that just, I even to this day, I still can't get over. And that was where, during the third song, third song, Caught in a Marsh, Joey Belladonna, the singer, came over to me in the pit and just went, give me your camera, huh? Yeah, the singer of Anthrax then took my camera and just started taking photos for the next, like, couple of minutes. Just took photos of the crowd, just took photos of the band all around him and all the while I'm just standing there like this guy's got my camera. But like I said Raymond was able to capture this this entire song and has put it up on YouTube so again I'm very thankful for Raymond for letting me include his clip into the into this video. I'll put his um, YouTube channel down below so you can go on check out the full video and plus even though I'm putting in this video I, I I'm sorry I'm taking out the audio because I don't want to be hit by any like YouTube copyright claims or anything like that but I just wanted to re react along show you talk to you through some of the key moments throughout this whole time and I'll certainly be sharing some of the photos that <laughs> Joey was shooting throughout that whole time but this um particular moment starts off at around the sort of 320 mark on the video so let's get started so yeah like i say joey's like yeah give me, give me your camera give me your camera he just lifts it up brings it up over the crowd and this was back whenever i was on the nikon i think 
I think I might have been on the D90 at this time, probably. But I also had battery grip on the you know, 70 55 f2.8. Hefty gear for me, and you know, <laughs> sort of the reasons why I was swapped over the mirrorless. And I had a flash on. I know flash isn't meant to be used for gigs, but I wasn't using it on the band. I was just using it for the crowd shots. But you can see Joey just snapping away here. Now, in fairness, most of the photos that came out were just all <laughs> whooshy washy and all, but. It was just fantastic and here he just hands the camera back to me. We have a quick handshake and he goes back to performing. During this time, I'm just looking back at his photos and you can see he's like, oh, did the turnout okay? Did the turnout okay? And then finally I take a photo of him and he just gives me a nice little middle finger. <laughs> but I mean, that's all it was. It's, it's, it, it's not a long period of time, but to me that, that moment just has stuck with me throughout my whole music photography journey and it just always stands. I, I love going back to this video whenever I feel down or I feel like I don't want to do this anymore because it helps lift me up again. So like I say, I've popped some of Joey's photos into this video. I had sent the photos to the band but I never heard anything back. So if any of the guys at Anthrax, Joey Belladonna especially, ha are watching this video, Give me a shout, I would love to send over those photographs to you. Though the one thing that I laugh at the most is, is that, now this, this probably sounds a little geeky, is that I would have loved to have uh, told and explained to Joey that my camera <laughs> was set up for back button autofocus. <laughs> if I had set the focus up on the shutter, we probably might have had a few more sharper shots, but I tell you, with, with the photos that he was getting, there was there were some really good ones, and it was really good just having some photos of the Belfast crowd just going nuts. But what was I doing during that whole time that Joey was shooting away with my camera? Well, I was literally just like this against the stage while all the other photographers in the pit were just looking at And as soon as they turned around and saw my camera, they looked at me and looked back. I were like, and I were like, yep. He's got my camera. So like I say, that's just a feel good moment for myself to just help bring me up if I'm ever feeling down or in a rut on the photography. Plus, it's a nice little reminder of where I've come over the years because, you know, and I'd, I'd always wanted to live that sort of experience when I started off in the music photography and the fact that I got to share something like that was, you know, to me, I, I still can't get over it. So if there is a moment for you that does do that, that you can see, you know, not everybody has a YouTube video that they can play back or anything. But if you do have a moment that you still keep locked away in your in your mind, or you just look back at your photographs and you just go back to that one photo that just really stands out for you, and it just lifts you up. It, it's just really good to have moments like that because we do fall in the ruts all the time, and we do get those moments where. We just want to give up on the photography. So I hope you find this video enjoyable. If you do have a moment that just always really stands out for you, then let me know about it in the comments down below. I would love to hear some of your memories, some of those, or just some of your ways of just being able to pick yourself up when you're feeling down. Not just even on the photography, but just in life in general. Again, just let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, share, press subscribe, and also hit that wee bell icon so that you can stay up to date with future videos. But until then guys, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.